Sometimes, words just complicate things. What if our brains could communicate directly with each other, bypassing the need for language? At the University of Washington, researchers have performed what they believe is the first non-invasive human-to-human brain interface. We found that the technology exists right now um, to do a simple demonstration that you can record from one brain and then stimulate another brain. I've been working for the past year so uh, modeling how the brain works and in particular how the brain represents knowledge. And we've been using TMS and functional magnetic imaging to understand and reverse engineering how information is representing the brain. During the experiment, I'm wearing a cap for a procedure called uh, electroencephalography. Uh, the short form for that is EEG. On our side, we first map the part of the brain which controls my right hand. And this part is actually on my left part of the head. Then we use this machine to generate uh, electrical fields. The researchers work on opposite sides of the campus and through the internet. Rao, the sender, sits in front of a computer game in which he has to defend a city by firing a cannon. Stocko, the receiver, with no ability to see the game and his hand positioned over a touchpad that will fire the cannon, waits for a command directly from Rao's brain. Yes! Success. All right. <laughs> With new funding, the research team will expand the types of information that can be transferred from brain to brain. We believe that it would be worth exploring the idea that you can help the recovery process by literally transmitting the motor programs of a healthy brain to the brain that has been damaged. All right. <laughs> <laughs>